Good morning, Britain. Breaking news this morning. Donald Trump is found guilty on all counts in an historic criminal trial. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. We didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man. He becomes the first former U.S. president to be convicted of a felony and now could face jail time for covering up payments to Stormy Daniels, an adult film star, to buy her silence over an alleged affair. And as Sir Keir Starmer tries to get Labour's election campaign back on track, his deputy Angela Rayner breaks ranks in support of Diane Abbott. If she wants to stand, then I don't see any reason why she can't stand. I say that as the deputy leader of the Labour Party, thousands of NHS patients to get personalised cancer vaccines over the next year in what's been hailed a landmark moment for cancer care. Corrie's Roy Cropper is finally free. We'll be joined by the lawyer couple central to the case, Joel and Dee Dee. That's Callum Lill and Shanique Sterling-Brown, live from the cobbles. Largely dry today, a few showers in the east, but the outlook for the weekend finally is looking drier for many of us. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up for Good Morning Britain. Friday, 31st of May, 2024. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ranveer Singh and Robert Rindon. Well, a very warm welcome to you this morning. Hello. Hello, Ramsey. Could there be a better day for you to be on the show? My the goodness. Big, big news day. And and I'm not only talking good. about Roy Cropper's freedom, I know. which then? was the only trial we thought we'd be talking about this That's morning true. because I woke up, mm. my body clock on this show is such that I, I don't know, something happens where my body just goes, need to wake up. Yeah. Ten past two, I woke up. But let me check the time. Breaking news. All right. Donald Trump convicted. Oh, up, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and it's fascinating to have, of course, you on the show again today because you did this. This is this is your bread yeah. and butter, no, this I've kind of case. Right, I've been following this with uh, interest. You know, I used to defend and prosecute cases, and uh, there's a lot to uh, unpick here. It's an extraordinary, once in potentially a lifetime moment, not just in the history of the USA, but what it means uh, right now for the American election and um, in general for democracy in that country and potentially here.